<laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween, everyone. And today I have decided to dress as a sorceress. And this is my magic wand. And are any of you out there celebrating Halloween? I'd love for you to uh, post your pictures, tag me in your pictures if you're in costume or if you're with your families um, and depending on the time zone you might have already celebrated Halloween I'd love to see how you guys look um, I'm wearing my power belt and I want to show you my little team behind the scenes there's uh, there's Abby my assistant who is dressed like a druid hey Abby ah. I put a spell on you <laughs> Hi everyone. So Abby is, she's Irish and underneath this black haired wig, she has shocking red hair. You'd never know it though. Yeah, I've been watching Britannia yeah. on Amazon and it's all about like the Druids and I have definitely took inspiration from their, <laughs> their creepy war paint. So that's, that's my go for today. Yeah, and you've got your Celtic background and everything. Exactly, embracing the heritage. Ooh, look who's here. It's Boo. He, he actually managed to uh, tear himself away from the Halloween candy. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to our home. <laughs> it is a pleasure to see you. <laughs> yes. I can see through you. I was going to say, I've given myself magic powers and I can see right through you. Yes. I could see right through Abby. I know, interesting, isn't it? My God, what has Halloween done for us? We are finally shooting the video inside our own home. Just look. Look, this is it's how- It's a wonderful, wonderful place that we have here. It's so, I have decorated it. I can Myself. tell. <laughs> I can tell. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> I can tell. Yes. <laughs> so I was wondering, um, should we get serious for a minute? No, <laughs> you cannot get serious. <laughs> no. Why? That's true. I, I like your... Uh... I can see clearly now. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. Here. Oh, my God. I know, that's you. No, I can see our audience through there. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, ah, somebody's eating a sandwich. What kind of sandwich is that? Peanut butter. I don't like peanut butter. That looks like a BLT Ooh. with extra... Extra lettuce? No, you don't sorry, like... that wasn't lettuce. That was extra bacon. I know lettuce um, is not your jam. No, no, no. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave you now. Oh, was it something I said? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. But I'm going to leave you now because I'm getting hungry and I can see that people are eating sandwiches. I'm going to go and make myself a spam sandwich. <laughs> How absolutely appetizing. Yes. <laughs> With eye of newt. <laughs> and some witch's brew on the and side. And a cup of witch's brew. Ooh, if you're brewing something, I'd love a cup of tea. Yeah, that's not what I was brewing. <laughs> well, whatever you're brewing is fine. Very well, yes. I will go and brew some Halloween coffee. Ooh, sounds good. Yes, with witch hazel or hazel witch. Or sand, sandwich, yes. Halloween coffee with sandwich. <laughs> so, um, joking aside, one of the things that has come up a lot in, in my recent videos, a question that keeps popping up, 
that people keep asking about is ghosts and hauntings and what about negative spirits and evil spirits. So I thought I'd take this opportunity of Halloween to actually address that. And I'm going to address it from my perspective of being on the other side and what it felt like for me and what I experienced while I was there. One of the things that I can definitely say when I was there on the other side, there was nothing, nothing, nothing negative or evil. Everything that we perceive to be um, evil or negative or nasty, it, it takes place here and it is to do with our energy, our human energy, our human psyche, our human mind. It's the way we interpret things. It's the way we interact with things. It's the way that our interaction with the, this world and even our interaction with the other world, it's the way we filter things. But when we die, there is nothing scary about the other side. There is no evil on the other side. There's no evil spirits. And what sometimes, um, you know, and, and really I cannot say this enough. There is only love. All the fear-based stuff is created by us over here. We, we get scared of ghosts and things because that's what we see on TV, on Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood makes it all scary because those are the kinds of movies that sell but also our religions ingrain in us that anything to do with the other side is, that is dangerous and negative and bad. And because I experienced the other side and because I continue to get guidance and messages from the other side all the time, and because I know we're all connected, but most of us don't realize it, there's a part of me that believes that a lot of religions have um, deliberately caused us to believe that the other side is scary and negative um, so that we won't realize how powerful we truly are and how connected we are. It's almost like the, um, the, the religion, the religious establishments, the, the people who control the religions want to hold on to the control so they continue to perpetuate the myth that that connecting with the other side is evil and any messages you get that are positive, that there's no evil and all, is all from the devil deceiving us. And that continues to get perpetuated so that we will, we will continuously live in fear of the handful of people who tell us what is real and what isn't. I want you to know that nobody has more connection to the truth than you. We all do. We absolutely all do. Um, so if people tell you that you have to fear God, you have to fear hell, you have to fear the afterlife, it is not true. And then people say, well, if we don't fear the afterlife, then there's going to be anarchy. People are not going to do good because, um, because the, the, we, we, we naively believe that people only do good because they believe that they're going to get punished in the afterlife. Now think about it. If you, your only reason for being a so-called good person is because you believe you'll get punished in the afterlife, what does that say about you? What does that say about our culture, our race? Um, we need to learn and teach people that we need to be good for goodness sake. We need to be good because we are evolving as a species, that it's immature to, to bring other people down. We need to learn that we're all connected and being kind and empathic towards other people lifts up the whole human race. We need to learn those kinds of reasons for, for being, um, for sharing, for connecting, for empathizing, for compassion. You know, like, because we are, if each one of us uplifts ourselves, we uplift everyone around us. The negativity here in this world is caused from a place of fear and lack and all of which is, again, perpetuated um, because it seems that we are in a culture that seems steeped in fear. Fear has, we have become pathologically fearful. 
But once we realize we have nothing to fear, then we do actually desire to help other people. It's, uh, it's almost innate. And I'll give you an example. I was once conducting a workshop um, and let's say hypothetically there was about a hundred people in the workshop and I asked everybody in this workshop um, if you had all your desires met what would you do and so people were like um, what would you do next if all your desires your needs were met all your needs were met what would you do next and people were like oh you know I would go on a cruise I would take time off to do this and that and the other and so I said, no, I said, all your needs and desires are met, including that, that you can go on a cruise whenever you like, that need has been met. You can take time off and, and study and that need has been met. All your desires have been met. What would you do next? Every single person, once they got that, okay, what if every single desire has been met and I have no more needs or desires? Every single person, the next thing they wanted to do was to help other people, to uplift other people, to give back, to do good. Every single person in the room. So I truly believe that even what we consider as negative, what people do that is negative, it's because they don't, they don't realize that their desires can be met. In other words, they're chasing after a false sense of something that is lacking in their lives. And it all starts with the awareness, the awareness that this is not how it's supposed to be. So going back again to the topic at hand of ghosts and hauntings, um, I don't want to deny people who actually say that, oh, but there is a scary energy in my home or, I have experienced a ghost. One of the things that I feel is that a lot of it is to do with the way we interpret what's going on. I don't want to discount it. I don't want to dismiss it. Um, and it can be scary. And, and one of the reasons why we don't have as many apparitions or, or spirits showing up for us is because it scares us. And so they won't come into our lives if it's going to scare us. Um, spirits or souls, they, um, they might try to get your attention by moving something and that could be seen as something scary. It could be seen as something hostile. Maybe they don't mean it as hostile. So when I was on the other side, one of the things that I sensed from all the beings around me was that all they wanted to do was help. They wanted to help uplift this world. They wanted to help uplift their loved ones. They really, really wanted to help. And that's kind of what the, the strong, strong feeling I had. And I tr truly realized that everything to do with, um, uh, with fear, with evil, with scaring us into believing that there is evil on the other side. And that's why we have to behave a certain way. All of these things, were conditioning that was created here. They are all a here thing, not a there thing. That was something that was ingrained in me when I was on the other side. And I can't, um, and I, I can't actually uh, um, move away from that concept because that is my truth. That is my truth. Um, and so I'm just going to turn to Abby for a moment. Do we have any uh, questions from people to we, do with? We do have a question. I think you were kind of answering it though, but it was someone asked when they, there's someone who feels a spirit and they can feel a different energy from one spirit to the next. And one of if the energy is more negative, like. Okay. Something. So the question is, in case you didn't hear, Abby said that the, somebody can feel the spirits, uh, and they can feel different spirits, but there's a different energy. So are some spirits more negative than the other? So here's what I would say. The words negative and positive is something that we assign here. And we, and so we assign, I'm going to call it judgment, but because our language is limited. Um, so in that realm, 
it didn't feel like there was judgment in a negative way, but there is still a difference. And I think that's a great question because there still is a difference in the different um, energy beings, whereas some energies, and even though we are all connected and we are all part of source, every facet of us, every soul, you are still an individual soul that is connected to source. And go back and watch um, my video called The Soul's Journey, where I explain about how we are like mirrors on a mirror ball. You are still an individual mirror, even though you're connected to the whole mirror ball. But some, some souls or some spirits have not had as much life experience as others have. And that's really the big thing. So in a way, the way we would interpret it with our judgmental and hierarchical language, we would say some spirits are more positive or are of a higher vibration or a higher frequency. This is what we would say. Um, in actuality, in that realm, they all help each other. However, the ones that have had much more life experience are the ones that um, you will feel as lighter spirits. And they are also the ones who are more able to help you here in a more powerful way. The ones who have had much less life experience, they are not negative. They're not going to harm you, but maybe sometimes their little actions or their way of trying to get your attention may cause you to feel some kind of fear. But one thing I want you to know is they cannot harm you. It's only what plays out in your own mind that can drive people crazy, but that's because we, we haven't um, learned about this subject enough. We don't talk about it enough. We keep it hidden. We say it's evil. And so that's why people believe it is. And so it can drive people crazy and it can make people feel they're mad or people can get ostracized. But in actuality, Nothing from the other side can actually harm you. And this is why I don't like to tell people that, oh, if you are in fear and if you're negative, you'll attract negative spirits. No, that only scares you even more. Don't fear it. Just know that they can't hurt you. And the more that you are stronger in your own energy and your own soul, it's, it's really good for you to strengthen yourself the more you will attract the stronger um, entities who actually want to uplift you and do the best for you, for your highest good. The more aware you are, the more aware of how powerful you are, the, the more you will attract the really, really powerful energies around you. Um, but you don't have to feel fear that, oh my gosh, my, neg my energy is really low. Is something negative going to attach onto me? Stop fearing those kinds of things, but it doesn't hurt for you to be aware that I have the choice of uplifting myself and surrounding myself with amazingly positive energy. Um, and so, um, one of the things that, that I do is that, um, in fact, I don't even try anymore, but usually in the evenings or at nights just before I'm about to go to sleep or in the mornings when I'm just in that state of waking up, I usually get messages and downloads. So the way to start, I would say, is to start trusting some of the messages that you're getting and writing them down because genuinely your loved ones on the other side are trying to help you. And the less that you fear it, the more that you will actually get positive messages. The more open you are, the more that they're able to communicate with you. So our deceased loved ones and the other side, they don't force their way into your life. They absolutely don't force their way. They don't try and um, they don't help you if you don't want it because you have your own free will. Uh, so you really do have to kind of invite them in and be open to believing it and knowing it and then start trusting it. Um, and you still always have your own free will to do whatever you want, regardless of what 
messages you're getting, they will never ever force their way. But they do, and this is what I believe, and this is how I saw it from the other side. When I was in the other side, I had a bigger view of my life, kind of like how I speak about the tapestry, like from being outside the body, I could see um, potential pitfalls and things like that. And so, uh, from, and so our guides and our loved ones, they can see a around us. And so if we allow them, they can actually guide us. Like you hear stories all the time of people, like somebody could be driving and it could be a green light at the intersection, but something, a voice tells them to stop and they stop. And then there's somebody running a red light, which, uh, and, and they would have got completely T-boned if they went through it. So um, they are trying to guide us all the time, but the more open you are, the more guidance that you'll hear from them. So keep, uh, keep believing in it, keep being open to it, keep being aware, and keep sending me your comments because your comments inspire me. They inspire future videos. And I just wanted to pop in on this Halloween day to wish you all a happy Halloween. And please post photos and uh, tag me in the photos so I can see. And this evening, we will be going into the little village in our neighborhood uh, um, where the, the, the neighbors, our neighborhood has been invited to come into the village uh, in their costumes. So that's what we're gonna be doing, just to go hang out and see what everybody else is dressed as. So if you enjoy my videos and if you want to hear more from me and, um, and, you want, um, and, and you'd love to hear more and know more and go deeper into all these uh, subjects, please, please click like, please follow me, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whichever, whatever floats your boat. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a wonderful Halloween and have a wonderful week till I see you again. Bye.